Hello, good morning, class. My name is Uluguenga Alakija. Today we're going to be looking at all numbers. Today we're going to be looking at all numbers. And under all numbers, we'll be looking at factors and prime numbers. Factors and prime numbers. We'll also be looking at factors in index form and also ACF and LCF. I repeat that again. Factors and prime numbers. Factors in index form. ACF and LCF. Let's go on. What are we looking at today as behavior objectives? At the end of the lesson, students should be able to find the prime no factors of numbers up to 200. Find the prime factors of numbers up to 200. And also we'll be looking at how to find the highest common factors and the lowest common multiples of numbers. The ACF and the LCM of numbers. Let's go on. So what are factors and what are prime factors? A factor of a number is that number that can divide into another number without any remainder. So when we talk about factor, we are talking about the fact that it can divide into another number without any remainder. For example, a son or a daughter or let's say children they are factors of their parents. They are factors of their parents because they take into uh, cognizance the whole behaviors and the whole attributes of those parents. So they are factor of their parents. So we can also have it in form of a number. That the factor of a number is that number that can divide into another number without any remainder. So let's look at the factors of eight. The factors of eight are one, two, four and eight because one can go in eight eight times two can go in eight four times four can go in eight two times and eight can go in seven once so one two four and eight are factors of eight they will divide eight without any remainder what are the factors of ten the factors of ten are one two five and ten so well, and when we talk about prime numbers we are talking about numbers that has only two factors only two factors and what are these two factors one and itself one and itself examples are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and so on these numbers are numbers that has that can that are divisible by one and itself no other number can divide it that's why we call it prime numbers let's go on. example one Write down all the factors of 24 and also state which of these factors are prime numbers. So after getting the factors of 24, you now state which of these factors or those factors are prime numbers. <coughs> so let's go on. For 24, 1 and 24 are factors of 24. So 1 times 24 is equal to 24. 2 times 12 is equal to 24. 3 times 8 is 24. And 4 times 6 is also 24. These are the possible factors of 24. Now we can then arrange them this way. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and, 4, and 24, which is what you have here. So out of these factors of 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24, the prime factors are 2 and 3. It is only 2 and 3 that are prime numbers. And because they are factors, so they, we also call them prime factors. Because it's only two, it is only two can only go in two, three can only go in three. So for two and three, they are prime factors. Let's go, let's look at another subtopic. Expressing factors in index form. That is under example two. Write down the factors of 48 and state which factors are prime. Then also express the number as a product of its prime factors in index form. So as I said in example 1, for 48, the factors are 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. So therefore, the factors of 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. So now, let's go on. So these are the factors of 48 that answers question A. The question B is to state which of these factors are prime. 
which of these factors are prime. So out of this out of those factors, the prime factors are two and three. And then how do you write it in index form? How do you write it in index form? In index form, we have 48 to be 2 times 24, which is 2 times 4 times 6, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And how do I express this as product in index form? How many tools do we have there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have 2 raised to the power of what? 4. Then times 3. How many 3 do you have there? Just 1. So that would be 3 raised to the power of 1. So by writing it this way, I've written it in what? In index form. Okay, let's go on. Now we are on ACF and SCF. ACF is highest common factor, while SCF is lowest common multiple. So one has to do with common factor, and the other one has to do with common multiple. Now, ACF is a factor that is common, and at the same time, the what? The highest. So out of all the factors of two or more numbers, which of these numbers are common? And out of these common factors, which one is the highest? And so from there, you get the highest common factor. But for SCM, we are looking at out of all the multiples of numbers that you are given, which ones are common and at the same time the lowest. So that is the LCM. Let's go to an example here. Find the LCM of 14 and 20. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now, if you look at all this, which of these are common factors? The common factors are 1 and 2. But out of these 1 and 2, the highest of them is 2. So it means 2 is the highest common factor. Is the highest out of the common factors. So the ACF of 14 and 20 is 2. Because 1 and 2 are common factors, but 2 is the highest out of all these factors. So the ACF of 14 and 20 is what? Is 2. The last slide, we are looking at SCM. SCM of 14 and 20. So write out the multiples of 14. Multiples means tables. Multiplication table. 14 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. So we are looking at table 14. That means 14 times 1 is 14, times 2, 28, times 3, 42, and so on. Then for table 20, you have 20 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, and so on. But out of this, out of this, out of all the multiples of 14 and 20, 140 is the least common or the first common factor. If you look at all this, you see that the first common factor is 140. It's common to both and is the first common factor. So 140 is the, is the LCM of 14 and 20. So the LCM of 14 and 20 is 140. So we'll continue from this in our next class. Once again, my name is Lukin Galakija. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.